This week, we return to Christmas Island, Australia's own Galapagos. Last week, we looked at the giant coconut crabs and the annual migration of millions of red crabs. This week, we check out the birds of Christmas Island and come face to face with the biggest fish in the world, the huge whale shark. The skies above Christmas Island are filled with birds soaring on the thermals. Golden bosun. White-tailed tropic birds. And the world's rarest frigate bird, the Christmas Island frigate bird. The males are resplendent with the inflatable red-coloured throat pouches they use to attract females during the mating season. These spectacular mid-air aerobatics are being performed by the red-tailed tropic bird, who go on to swoop to their nests found right around the coast. Christmas Island is a major breeding ground, with nesting birds and their chicks in abundance. One highly visual breeder is the brown booby, which nests on the ground amongst pinnacles and inland cliff edges. They're distinguished by chocolate brown plumage with white breasts and powder blue beak and feet, in contrast to the red-footed booby with their white tail and red feet. Every afternoon on Christmas Island, there's a feeding session for some of the island's more disadvantaged birds. Brendan Tienan is one of the volunteers who feeds birds being rehabilitated. Oh, there guys, got some food for uh, these are mostly greater frigate birds. Uh, the juvenile is the one with the thorny coloured tan heads. Uh, basically these birds would have fallen out of the nest and there was no chance for survival so they were brought back to the, the parks office here to uh, rehabilitate, to feed them up until they were fully fledged. Well, it was really fine but there's a few ones that will come every day but most of these probably only come once every couple of weeks. If they, all, if they came every day, um, you would have uh, more than 100 here. Sees the fish. The waters around Christmas Island are renowned for their vibrant coral walls and rich marine life. Local dive master, Linny Jennings, promises to show us something very special. Just off Christmas Island here, the deepest part of the Indian Ocean, the Java Trench, and it means that Christmas Island is surrounded by this reef ever so deep, up to five kilometres deep, studded with beautiful corals, and if we're lucky enough, we may see some whale sharks. The water is always roughly about 28, 29 degrees, absolutely beautifully warm. You can wear a wetsuit or you don't have to wear a wetsuit. Um, it gets cooler mid-year to a degree of about 24 degrees, but um, this time of the year it's absolutely fantastic. Well it is the most beautiful wall diving in the world, pristine corals. Ab clarity is absolutely beautiful. Coral the whole way around, yes, we have absolutely beautiful coral. It's just untouched. Well, we're renowned for our hard corals, our plate corals. You see, they're rather large, quite a few metres in diameter. And um, yeah, they're all in pristine condition. We have some soft corals, we have Gorgonian fan corals on the walls, which are absolutely amazing. Beautiful colours. The wall is absolutely stunning. It's a sheer wall. Okay, it drops down to quite a few metres, 80, 90 metres. Well, we have the brightest coloured fish. The small fish you get to all the little reef fish out there. The trumpet fish, you'll see them swimming around most days. You get uh, puffer fish, you get uh, leafy scorpion fish, and you get lionfish. 
The lionfish, yeah, well, you'll find them under rocky um, crevices or underneath the plate corals. They're just beautiful. They're all, they're like um, someone's painted them, like Van Gogh has painted them. They're all striped and they've got the, the feathers. Some have got feathers, start, uh, feathers out there on their wings. Some have got spikes, but they're absolutely, in detail, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we have the garden eels on the sandy patches. Stick their little heads up and feed and wave in the breeze like that. More eels, yes we have more eels in the rocky crevices. The occasional reef sharks swimming by. Uh, turtles, yes, we've got it all out there. It's absolutely magic. The manta rays, uh, they can grow up to about three metres in width and um, they're very distinguishable because they've got the white markings on top of their head. Yeah, they've just got huge birds flying underneath, you know, just huge birds, they're beautiful. They'll turn over. They'll come up on the top. But anyway, they come in at the uh, whale shark season where the plankton is, and uh, they tend to feed with the whale sharks. And they stay around for quite a few months. And uh, yeah, they tend to mingle with the divers sometimes. You'll see two or three together, mainly solo. And um, yeah, they'll do a couple of ueys and play in the bubbles. Next, a sight they'd all been hoping for. Out of the blue emerges the shape of a huge creature swimming straight towards us. It's the king of the ocean, the giant whale shark. He'd obviously seen us and he came in just to have a little look and to play amongst the bubbles. Every time you dive with a whale shark, it's like the first time because you just see this magical, huge fish coming towards you and that's what it is, a gentle giant. And it's just swimming towards you, just very, very curious looking to see what you're doing and it just makes you get all excited inside and your heart pumps and you think oh just to be in the ocean with it is absolutely magic. And basically they usually come in around about November, December uh, with the plankton and um, they stay around for about till March, April, May. This year we've had an extended period of time because they didn't come in till January this year so a little bit late but they're still here at the moment, the 24th of May so we've still got whale sharks here so we're really wrapped with that. The thrill of swimming with one whale shark is overwhelming. Imagine how we feel when a second whale shark appears. How is this? Not one, but two juvenile whale sharks swimming round and round. This is just a sensational experience. Sensational. I'm going back there for some more. Now they're huge as they are, Linda. They're absolutely huge, but but they're only juvenile. So imagine how big the big ones are. Well, that's right. Yeah, they come about four meters, and one was about three meters, I think, with those two. Now then, they don't seem very frightened at all. No, they're not. They're very curious, and they'll come up and they'll play in your bubbles, and they just oh, they just love it, and I love it. They're just so beautiful. See how gentle they are. Now, what is this about the bubbles? They seem to actually like cavorting in that, playing in that. They, like they it, do, yeah. Do they think it's feed? Oh, I think they... I don't know whether they think it's feed, but it's just good for them. So it goes into the gills, they blow it out. The gills is fantastic. Now, these are juveniles, of course. These aren't the big ones at all. They're both females. No, they're not the big ones. Yep, we seem to get a lot of five, six metres. And this is quite late in the season, the these boats? very late in the season. I was amazed. I was swimming around looking at the backfish over, and I thought, wow! And I turned around and I saw this big silhouette coming to the it was just awesome! Yeah, there's actually a theory that Christmas Island is a bit of a whale shark nursery. And seeing ones this size, and we saw one about two and a half metres last week, so it actually really adds credence to that theory that they might actually breed here. So we need lots more research to find out really what happens with them. Yeah, certainly they believe the adults actually head from here down to Ningaloo. Um, but perhaps the young ones are staying, staying for the season, just staying down deep. And um, when they're big enough, they head off down south or up north again. But yeah, it does certainly appear that they start, the younger ones are hanging around here more and more often. They're just such gentle creatures, absolute gentle giants of the ocean. Stunning, stunning creatures.
absolutely stunning. Swimming with nature's giants of the sea. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful.